Hey guys, even here and uh, very exciting news, Mr. Olympia has been sold. Well, how exciting this actually is, I don't know, I don't know, we have this information and honestly, I don't know what to do with it. They're saying they're gonna change something, but what exactly are they gonna change? Apparently, media outlets are gonna be a little bit different, uh, there will be no American media LLC, so that's gonna be like one whole thing because American media LLC and... Mr. Olympia and Men's Health magazine have all been sold to Jake Wood. Who the hell is Jake Wood? If you Google his name, you will get this British actor. No, he did not buy the Mr. Olympia. It's another guy. It's another guy. But how much do we know about him? I really did my research. I really tried to find more about him. I wasn't able to find a lot, but I found some. And I'm not gonna tell you the same things that Nick Strike and Power, RX Muscle, and so many other. YouTube channels told you already and you can read it on any other article on Google I'm gonna try to give you something different something new about this whole situation and that's gonna be a little bit more about uh, this guy Jay Good who the hell he is but I don't really know a lot he is 57 years old I thought he was older a little bit older but yeah he's the owner of the Wings of Strength I'm sure you heard about this they are hosting a couple of shows like Romania Pro Tampa Pro and uh, others he is the guy who is trying to get uh, women into bodybuilding again, who is trying to create the women's bodybuilding division of the Mr. Olympia. Now, after buying the Mr. Olympia, surely we're going to see that division of the 2020 Mr. Olympia. Other than that, I don't know if much is going to change. I can hope so. I can hope so. They're trying. What they're saying, basically, is they're going to bring it to the fans. Whatever that meant. Hopefully it's a good thing. I mean, I'm sure it is because we are the fans, right? So I'm sure it's gonna be something positive. So if you really want to learn more about a guy, you can go to Muscular Development uh, YouTube channel and you can find this interview about him. But honestly, this guy is a mystery. He doesn't really say a lot about anything. It feels like he's that kind of a closed, private person. He doesn't want to share a lot about him with the public. But what we all know is that he is a businessman, a very, very rich person who is a fan of bodybuilding and decided to buy it, to collect another show. Hey, Mr. Olympia, the biggest one of all of them. So at this point, you must be wondering how did he get rich? What is his business actually? So let me show that to you. I've been a manufacturer of internally threaded aircraft fasteners all my life. Uh, it sounds like it's some pretty boring stuff, but it was pretty... He said that very fast, and if you guys aren't a native English speaker, you probably don't understand that, but basically what he said is, I played this, I replayed this many times to get what he's saying, but basically he's a manufacturer of uh, fastening belts for Boeing uh, Airbus, for Boeing uh, airplanes, or pretty much all the aircrafts uh, in America, basically. 70% of it, he says in this interview. So if you want to learn more detail, you probably won't get a lot more, but if you want to learn more about him, go to MD uh, YouTube channel, you're gonna watch this whole interview and you're gonna learn more about him. But basically that's pretty much it. Very successful businessman who decided to buy the Mr. Olympia. Hopefully he's gonna make it better in whatever way. I'm looking forward to 2020 Mr. Olympia. It's going to be exciting based on so many things. I mean, not depleted lineup as 2019, Flex Lewis, Phil Heat potentially coming back, this thing now, women's bodybuilding coming back. You'll see, it's going to be very exciting, that's for sure. But hey, we also have some physique updates of other bodybuilders prepping for the Arnold and some other things we're gonna see. So right now you can see right here Nathan Diasha and his new physique update and his long, long ass torso. But very big, very big and very full. Look at the size of those arms and the legs and overall the fullness is on point. The conditioning though, which is something he never lacked, isn't exactly great right now, but I'm sure it's just water. I'm sure he can get ripped in a matter of those four weeks that are left until the Arnold Classic. And the caption here says magic mirror. I don't think so, because probably somebody said that uh, the last photo that we saw of him was only good because the the mirror the mirror was making him look better but this one is probably not taken in a mirror right this is not a mirror photo i'm not sure honestly but it doesn't seem like it anyways he looks huge he is definitely somebody to be taken into consideration for the top five top six spot potentially top four i think the best case scenario i'm pretty sure 
and the top three is reserved for Dexter, Bonek and Remy. Nobody else but these three guys can crack the top three. It's only about who is going to be fourth and the rest of the placements. It's gonna be a deep lineup, it's gonna be an amazing show, better than Mr. Olympia, that's for sure. We also have a physique update of this guy right here, Akim Williams. I said that Sergio Oliva is probably going to make a leap, and I'm thinking Akim Williams as well. He seems like he's actually trying for conditioning. He doesn't seem full as usual, he looks a little bit flatter. If this guy somehow manages to get dry, to get conditioned, completely conditioned, with all this mass, he can, he can actually crack the top four, he can also do that, just like many others, potentially if somebody is off out of that top three, maybe even beat one of those guys. Maybe, maybe even win the show, come on. It's, it's not realistic, but it's possible, he's huge, he, he has so much muscle, this guy. Now that would be like an, an insane upset, that would be something in the range of Ronnie Coleman 98, something like that. Is it a possibility? I think so. I think so. This guy is an absolute monster when it comes to mass, but the conditioning is never really on point. Hopefully it's going to be at the Iron Classic. Right now he looks monstrous, just like usual, but just a little bit flatter and a little bit more conditioned than he usually is at about four weeks out. So we'll see. We'll see how he looks on that stage. As far as the classic physique goes, we have an update of Terence Ruffin. Look at this back. Look at his back. Look at his back. This is just amazing. This is going to be a really big challenge for Steve Lorius. It's going to be an interesting battle. But is this really the top two? There is another guy who is also taken into consideration. We're going to talk about him in a second. But right now, let's admire Terence's back a little bit more. Not just the back, but also the glutes. Reminds me of Ronnie Coleman, but just like much, much smaller. There is a video as well. This is what I'm talking about. He looks amazing. He looks amazing. He's definitely one of the potential guys to be in the top five at the Mr. Olympia. 2020, possibly, yeah. We'll see what he looks like compared to the top guys, but I'm having a feeling he's gonna look great. And this is another guy who may crack the top two at the Arnold Classic. I'm sure these three guys are gonna be top three. Alex Cambronero right here, Terence Ruffin and Steve Lorius. Can Alex beat both of them? Can Alex win? I don't think so, it's not very likely, but it's a possibility, sure. This guy has a lot of potential. A little bit weaker legs, but as far as his upper body, the waist, the vacuum, the chest, and just overall upper body, it's just amazing. And we also have a new video of Ronnie Coleman training, back again, back at it. He was out for five weeks, out of the gym after the surgery, he says, and now he's back in it, he's training, he looks smaller than before, he looks like he lost uh, some more gains, hopefully that's the last surgery, hopefully he won't have to go back under the knife, and um, hopefully he will regain some of the size back, but he looks much, much smaller than what he looked about five weeks ago, so he's constantly losing a bunch of weight when he goes under the knife, and when he comes, he regains it, and he's yo-yoing like that for the last who knows how many years. I hope the problem will be fixed. I'm really feeling sorry for this legend, for the ultimate legend, for the greatest of all time. But apparently he's enjoying it. He, he wants to stay big. And he keeps training. Can he stay big? Well, no. With surgery every couple of months, it's not really possible. And with his age and with all the injuries, but he just keeps keeps training, he can't reinvent himself, this man is bodybuilding uh, through and through, and he's going to die probably eventually with bodybuilding in his heart and in his mind. And if you're still here at this point of the video, surely you are most likely a, I don't like to use the word fan, but some sort of a fan of the channel, I would say a follower, a loyal follower, whatever, so I can talk to you about this, if somebody else came and saw this, they would probably hate on me, but I wanted to talk about this because Nick Strength and Power, if you follow this guy, he said that he was catching a cold, he was saying that his voice sounds strange, but everything is fine in his voice, it sounds just normal, and he said that today he's not gonna make a video. And uh, today is accidentally a Valentine's Day, or at least it was, it's over, at least in Serbia, it's past midnight, I don't know about where you live. Anyways, he said that he's not gonna make a video today because of the flu, 
And he actually ended up making a video because it's a huge story because he is going to get a lot of hits on this story. And guess what? His voice sounds just perfect. The same. So what I'm thinking is that he probably never really got sick. He was, <laughs> he was lying because he wanted to spend some time with his girlfriend. Which is of course absolutely fine. Nobody cares. But it seems like he has been lying. He, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. But it's just an idea. It kind of seems like it. What do you guys think? <laughs> Whatever you think about this uh, whole video, tell me down below in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about this change. Uh, this Mr. Olympia new owner, whatever. What do you know about him? Do you know anything else about him that I already said in this video? Do you think he's going to change something about Mr. Olympia? Whatever is in your mind in this video, comment down below, like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for more. What do you believe it is to this? All the best, guys, and bye-bye. That was fast.